Alright peeps, welcome back to some more From the Depths, and as you can see, I have started work on retrofitting an atlas. This is the original, and this is the retrofit. And my thinking with this thing was I wanted to make it look as close to the original as possible, but being completely different and also not be not rubbish is the wrong word, but very, very weak, because the regular Atlas, its weaponry is very powerful, but it's extremely weak, because it's pretty much completely made of wood, so... As you can see, the weaponry is now underneath, because that makes more sense for an airship. We are going to add some more uh, today, because I don't think this is quite enough. Um, I've changed the deck and some of the underneath as well to reinforce decking. At least I think I did the underneath. I may not have. Because um, of course this was just wood. There's no longer a cargo hold here. But up top it's pretty much exactly the same as it was before. And I, no stairs here as well because I've removed... Well not removed but changed the inside a lot also. Sorry if you can hear background noise. It is hot weather right now and I have the window open and there is various grinding noises going on uh, going on outside which um is just marvelous and everything plus my eye is bothering me which is also just marvelous anyway the turrets that we have here are advanced cannons that are belt feeders and as you can see they're 450 millimeter belt feeders because why not right <laughs> i don't know what i did but i did it and i made these monstrous little little black cannons pretty much they, um, they fire 36 rounds a minute. It's literally just timed HE. That's all it is. The shells aren't particularly fast. Faster than crams, obviously. But, they do like 2,000 high explosive damage or something. Uh... 2,500 explosive damage with a 10 meter radius. Um, yeah. It's just, it just is a thing. Uh, wait, did I even, yeah, I did add the, the laser targeters. So yeah, other than that, it, it's exactly the same, I, 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 like externally, apart from that, doesn't have the turrets here, doesn't have the bombs under here. Inside, we've got a different scheme set up, but it's pretty much the same design. You've got tons of little boilers, well, not little boilers, but several medium boilers, and then, a helium pump in this little metal box with some small steam because we don't need an awful lot of power in here and then also there's steam piping for the steam jets uh, so it still works exactly, exactly the same way what I want to put up here are just maybe a couple of missile turrets because we don't, we don't have any room I mean we could have like something in here but it would be minuscule I'm thinking a couple of simple weapons just to deal with aircraft and then maybe some missiles I don't know also, I'm just going to push the window too, because you can probably hear that, and it's even annoying me. Alright, hopefully that is better now. So, it looks like something's missing here. Oh, some of the chains are missing. I didn't realise I removed those. Oh well, I'll re-add those, but also, let's just go ahead and finish this off. I'm thinking... Um, where's a good spot? Just anywhere on here, really. Now, these aren't going to be amazing missiles. They're just going to exist, and hopefully they will work okay. Um, hmm. That isn't right. I'm just going to actually not do that. Can these attach like this? I would also quite like to adjust, um, they do, excellent. I'd also quite like to adjust Hydra today, to make it less explodey, <laughs> because right now it doesn't, um, it doesn't really enjoy itself too much, gotta say, especially when one or another or many turrets go bye-bye. Because it has quite a few. Alright, so... 
that's probably good. Um, we can also now fit some ejectors on here. Does that work? No, it has to be on the side. In fact, I might do it this way then. There we go. That's better. So now these things will launch at various high speeds. Um, we want the. We don't need these things to have one turn. All we need is them to go in the direction of the enemy and then slap into the enemy and then cause the enemy various problems in many different ways. So, I mean, this would work, but this is way too many fuel tanks. Uh, like this is this is stupid. Although we could have. These things be ridiculously fast. In fact, no, they can go faster. They can go... Uh, eh, eh, eh. That fast. Which is how fast? Uh, speed. Ooh. That was slower than the shells. <laughs> I wonder what this would do. Hmm. No. Just max that out. Um, I mean, that would work. That would indeed work. I ho I think. <laughs> um, let's see. All the wrong buttons. I've kept the flares as well, because why not? Uh, we want these to be on weapon slot 4, probably. Alright, so... I mean, yeah, they, they go sea skimming. No. Oh. Um. Let's just say hello to neighbor, friendly neighborhood marauder. Ah, there's only one problem with this thing, I've just realized. I need to add regular PIDs as well, so that it can fly without, without the movement turned on. Alright, so. I mean, that works. We did 50k impact damage. Um, you know, the annoying thing I find about fragments is that I find that they don't do as much as I feel would make sense. If that makes any sense. Like, look, we removed a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit there. And that was off of, like, a wood thing. If we switch this to explosive... It'll just do so much more, or at least it'll seem like it does so much more. As you can see, we did the same amount of damage, only in explosive. But several decently sized chunks of the boat got knocked off. I feel though like using frag just because I don't use it an awful lot and I want to see if maybe no if maybe it actually does do more than I think. Um, we get up the cone angle like 90 degrees to increase the damage. Doesn't increase an awful lot though. Probably good probably does rack up Let's try 90. Why not? So that'll... You, you double the number because that's... That's like half of the... Actually, it doesn't make an awful lot of sense thinking about it. But 180 would be 360, I believe. Is that right? I swear that's the thing, that it's double. Or maybe I'm thinking of advanced cannons. I don't know. I'm recording this in the morning, and my brain is not functioning. So, uh, forgive me in, in, in that. Uh, anyway. Copy to all matching, and then we can just, like, I don't know, give this, this thing some basic armor, so that it doesn't violently explode. Um... 
I forgot the Marauder existed. Okay, um... Uh, hmm. Hi, balloons. The, did the balloons go away for a second? That confused me. Uh, let's see, actually, no, let's go for three meters slope. And then this, and then up here we can have... Something like this. I don't know. Actually, I quite like that. It looks weird, but I like it. Um, let's see. And we could maybe have, I don't know, just something simple. Something simple for a simple brain to comprehend. There. Does that work? Probably not. Do I care? No. Okay, uh... Stop making grinding noises outside things. Okay. Safe sub-object. This is uh, just a three times medium missile turret. There. I could actually repurpose this as well as a torpedo turret. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and go back to the hull and then go over here. And plop this down. Seems good. Now, I don't know actually how do we do... How we would do... Wow, I've put that literally right above the other one. That's not good for uh, strength things. Hmm. I might want to... Put... Yeah, okay. What I'll do is I'll remove this beam, and in this spot is where the AI will go. Because I have not left room anywhere else. So let's make this thing horrendously weak, shall we? Where? If anything hits here, it all gets taken out. Excellent. Oh, nope, nope, no, bad. Thank you. Uh, remove you. Local weapon controller. Fail safe and wireless receiver. Good. So now, if we turn weaponry on, various missiles get launched. And large amounts of high explosive and fragmentation all go th all the way into, through, around, and beside the Marauder. Excellent. So yeah, this is what these little shells do. Well, I say little. They're sort of big little. Little big. I'm pretty pleased with this. It's a quite simple retrofit, but I think it gets the job done. And here come the missiles. That actually looks really nice. It looks like one did a bad. Did one do a bad? Two damage. Because my worry is that if it turns like this and fires, that'll be a problem. So I might set restrictions on the rotation. I don't know. Anyway, for now, we will just go ahead and save this as Atlas Retro. Atlas Retrofit. Not Atlas Retro. Retrofit, yes. Letless retrofit something. Um, I think this thing is good to go into the campaign. I'm quite pleased with it now. Um, is there anything else I want to do to it? Apart from re-add these, which I will do off camera, and then I think we'll just take it into the campaign and try it out. Also, um, alter Hydra a little, maybe. Not sure. See the lasers. That's something I need to do. Need to make sure that need to make sure that the lasers don't do horrible badness in the fact that they don't work very well. That's missing as well. Oh, I better know what happened. This spin block is attached to this piece, which is attached to this piece. I must have removed this piece, and then everything went bad. Okay. I'll fix this, load up the campaign, we'll retrofit the Atlas, and then try it out, and see the Hydra.
Yes, I'm just repeating myself at this point. See you in a minute. Alright, here we are back in the campaign. Looks like we're getting attacked again by a couple of paddle guns. Hmm. Let's take a look at Hydra first, shall we? Yeah, the problem with this thing is that it's so covered in guns that if it gets hit anywhere, some bit of gun goes bye-bye. I'm just thinking, let's take a look at this. So I have this set to 20% a second, minimum charge. Hmm. So the lasers are full power. Let's just follow the lasers. Damage from the next shot. Okay. So... I don't get why they're not working well enough. Like, this is a pretty big laser system. Maybe it needs more storage. Um... What if I buy destabilizers? Doesn't have any destabilizers. Hmm. But I remember building this in a way where it has enough pumps to keep going. Um... Does so much at each time though. I don't understand what it says there, like 1Q energy, 2Q, 3Q, 4Q, and then 0Q? Maybe we can have minimum, ch minimum shot energy? Okay, that alters that. Okay, let's say like 40,000 minimum shot energy. I don't know if that will affect how this looks because I don't do lasers. I don't understand lasers very well and I don't. Uh, 4Q total energy available, 68,700. Okay, let's just assume that that helps. And do I want to reduce the number of weapons? I don't know. I just don't know. I have this thing set, like, I'm constantly trying to improve how I build, and this thing is not built well. Despite me putting so much effort into everything with it, I just need to keep a building and building and building until I finally figure stuff out. Because... The steam system is wrong, in the fact that I'm using large pistons, I should be using medium pistons. Um, the front, very front and back cannons are wrong in the fact that they're above deck, although it doesn't matter that much. But they could be more powerful if they were below deck, but of course I wouldn't have room for the lasers. The lasers are wrong because I just think they're too small. Despite that taking up so much room, I think that's not enough. Or I think I need more more of these, the more of the actual nodes. The only thing I'm actually quite proud of is the main cannon. That thing works very well and is very well defended. Um, it very rarely takes enough damage for it to stop working. Uh, the ammo stores are fine. The detection is alright, it could be better. Um, but yeah. Hi, uh, Centaur is actually... A little bit better in ways. It actually still has room for more stuff. Anyway, I'm just gonna... Save Hydra, although this will save Hydra as... The one without the stuff, but it's fine, hold on. Where's Hydra? It is in here, right? I went past it. I'm just gonna save over. It's fine. Alright. Now while we're waiting for this lot to attack us. Atlas old boy. Actually hold on, pull all first. Then Atlas. Uh you're missing an L there, mate. Just saying. So yeah, this thing 
is the stock atlas. This is the atlas that you uh, feel seasick on because its PID is a horrible. Um, we're gonna retrofit you to be Atlas Retrofit. Retrofit to Atlas Retrofit, yes. And then we want Blitzing. you to be repaired. Moving out. This thing has repair tentacles, right? Yeah, good. Blitzing. It's slow though. Alright. Uh warp and view and spawn in and then tab. Okay. So this is the one we were just working on. Excellent. So I'm just thinking again, is there anything else I want to do to it? I don't think so. By the way, I did forget to mention it is caked in metal on the inside. It is so well defended now. I think there's actually three layers of armor. Yeah. <laughs> there's three layers of armor. So. Good luck taking this out of the sky. Um. As easily as the original. Uh. Again, I'm not incredibly pleased with how I've set up. Like the turrets and all. But I think it's okay. I think it's okay. What is going on now? Falkenheim is coming all the way to attack our base. That seems like a good opportunity to test out our new friend, the Atlas. Alright, it turns. These on they are a motor drive. You know, those are not providing a lot of on or an awful lot of thrust because these. Hold on a second. Eh give Ah oh, god the way I did this. Let's increase the target pressure a little, shall we? Hopefully this doesn't explode. Good. Now you should be going faster, right? Marginally. It's okay. Uh, save vehicle. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ho hopefully that's fast enough. Thirty-four meters a second, it'll do. Oh god, okay. Well, first this is gonna be a thing. But this isn't a problem because... An atlas is nothing to these things. Not an atlas, a Falkenheim. Sven, we have had enough of you. We have truly had enough of you. Receiving. Receiving. Please don't go, both go this way. Receiving. Because Receiving. otherwise they're going to ram into the land. Alright, hold on. Uh, Hydra, I want to be on you. Receiving. Where even is it? Oh, there it is. All the cram shells being fired. Horribly inaccurately as always. It's more like warning shots than anything. What blew up? Oh. The duster. And it's AI dead. <laughs> Amazing. 
Now don't ram into each other, you stupids. It's not how this is meant to work. Uh, I wonder if it's because they have ex almost exactly the same broadsiding setups. Oh, you poor duster. <laughs> All it took was one little cram shell. Amazing. So we probably just took really minor damage. Yeah. Okay. We all good. I still love how ridiculously tiny these barrels are. They're so cute! They're also so inaccurate. Hmm. Um. And now we're being attacked again. Just repair up, pull all. I should always make sure to save the campaign before I pull all, just in case. Because you never know when that bug is gonna occur. Alright, well, the Atlas didn't get to fight the Falkenheim as we hoped. Also, I bet this no longer has the Force in it. Not Star Wars, but I bet the f I bet it relocated. Somewhere, somewhere, so at some point, to fight us. We'll see. Oh no, it is there! That was fast, I'm guessing, yeah, flying squirrels. We should be okay to fight flying squirrels, I hope. Um, Alright, getting a high altitude quite far away. Begin battle. Go on, good. So, missiles are fired. Unfortunately, the flying squirrels have flares on them. But uh, luckily our shells have time fuses, also the missiles are going after them again. One good hit. Uh, are, the, are, are, the, our, are our own missiles going after our own flares, or was, or was that the flying squirrel's flares? I don't know. Okay, well that's a squirrel down. And that's another squirrel down, excellent. We are very well equipped to take out flying squirrels. How much damage did we get take? A couple of percent. That's fine. One of the end. One of the propellers. Um, none of the weapons. That's very good. That is very very good. Uh, the only thing I don't know is how these flares worked. If they even worked at all. Uh, I might switch them out for these. Well, not these, but both. So that you've got ra radar and heat decoy all at the same time. There. Okay, I'm just checking that we have our material before I save, because the last thing I want to do is save when we've actually run out of material somehow. Okay. You repair up. Do you have repair bots? I should probably give you repair bots. Uh, in here, misc, repair boot, repair boot, no, nah. that was mirrored in definitely the right place. We don't talk about this, there, repair bots, get this please. And fly with fleet. Very good, then head over here. I think that we can prop... That's two paddle guns. I don't think we can take on two paddle guns in an atlas. But I think these guys are well, well equipped too. Why are they so fast? Oh, they're on times 10, that's why. Okay, um... We fought against paddle guns before, and we can do it again. Yes. Luckily, they're also facing away from us. Oh god, the lag. Why? Oh, it's cause I'm over there, I bet. Receiving. Uh, nope, there's just a ton of lag for no reason. Receiving. 
Receiving. This part of the map just seems to be horribly laggy. Okay. What the hell? Why do they keep doing that? Oh god, I'm dead again. I'm inside the ship, by the way. I'm not sat outside, yet I always seem to die. Alright, how is this going? We are getting hit a lot, but I think it's just looking like more damage than it actually is. Yeah. Cram shells raining in on one of the paddle guns. Missiles are being shot at Centaur. Centaur's looking fine though. All main guns online. One of the paddle guns appears to be disabled. I assume it's AI dead. Yep. Oh, they both are. Ha! <laughs> Excellent. Alright. How much damage did we take? Not much at all. Very good. Moving now, moving now. Let's collect that. Oh no. I don't think the Atlas is capable of fighting on its own against Listening. that. Moving out. Moving out. So I need to run away again. Um, Scarabax, we haven't talked to you in a while. Oh yeah, we also captured a Snapjaw. Listening. Um, let's just Moving get out. that out of the way. Like, get that zero strength looking like ours rather than the enemies. Mm, I shouldn't got so, I shouldn't have got so close to those. Come on. There we go. And then I think we'll fight this fifty seven. At least we can outrun paddle guns quite easily. Yes. So, a marlin? I don't think I've seen or heard of the marlin before. It has missiles, but it appears that they are dumb fire. It also has crams. Hold on. Let's just take a look at this thing before it violently explodes. So. That's the, actually no, I have seen this, I think. So it's got side crams, a top AC, a missile turret. That's a cool advanced cannon turret design. That's actually really cool, it's like a snail shell with the guns put- I've never seen something like that before, that's ingenious. You've got the mantlets facing horizontally so it can turn to the sides. That's a lot of barrels. And then the turret there, but the firing pieces are down here. That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> that definitely uncovers the map. Um, okay, we've already kind of blatted a hole in it. What's that? Little shells. Uh, just AP ones? Interesting. They look like they're really fast. We haven't taken any, da any damage yet, but there's always time. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that the bloody engine went again. Uh, I need to improve the strength of the engine. Because we lose so much speed when just one of them goes, and now the missiles are hitting as well. That thing is so much more powerful than I thought it would be. But we are pelting it a lot. I'm hoping that we can take it out of the sky before it, it takes us out, out of flight abilities. Oh, but repair bots. Repair bots, do your stuff. 
Uh oh. Okay, one, a couple of cram shells hit. Keep going! They don't have fuses, that's good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's struggling. It's struggling. We're struggling. I'm telling you the gun's gone offline. The gun has... Oh. We can't elevate the gun. Oh, the engine's, on the engine's online. Why isn't the thing getting distance? Can it not because... Because the engines. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Flack, you need to hit the thing. Oh, the barrel and everything, it's going horribly wrong because the barrel's damaged. We're at 90%. We're still going. Man, I am glad that I armoured everything but the thing that makes us take less damage, which is speed. Redundancy, yo. It's important. Oh, God. Yeah, all I need to do is just armour around here and around here. Oh, God, that's not fun to watch. Oh, uh, this was not a fair fight, but... I'm glad I tried it nonetheless. Come on, we need more speed than this. We need the engine back online. Oh no, oh no, the gun's offline. No! No! Um. We got it down to 70%. We did more damage than it. But that gun is completely offline. We need to wait for repairs now. Maybe we can evade it long enough? Oh wait, the engine's online, is it? Looks like the engine's online. It's going fast again. Good, 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 good. We can, we can out-turn it, look. Sort of. Just keep going, little Scarabax. Stop hitting us! We need the repair! I needed to get several of these things. Several of these things would have done amazingly here. Oh god. That isn't scary at all. It can't lead very well. It tries to. Whoa, that gets really close. All we have to do is wait. All you have to do is wait. Because you just need to wait for the barrel to be repaired and the gun to be repaired and then it'll start firing again. Oh, it hit us. Come on, we've got repair bots. 92%, 70%. It doesn't seem to have repair bots, that's good. We're fixing a lot of the armor rather than the actual gun. I want to get the gun online. Let's see, what has this thing lost in total? It's lost its ability to shoot the vast majority of its cram shells, but its advanced cannons are still online. Oh wow, we gutted it! Look at that! Hold on a second! We took out the entirety of the front, the entirety of the middle. It's still got... Oh, are those mines or something? Interesting, it has weird mine looking things. Oh, wow, internal deadly blades, hello. We took out a lot of this thing's, like, front and mid section. That's insane. Just this one little creation of mine. No, no, we've lost stuff again, and now it's slowing down. At close range and slower, it's not good. Stop hitting us, we're trying to repair! No, it took out that engine again! Why did you get closer and start moving slower, Scarabax? That's not how this is meant to work. Now there's no way we can win because it's just gonna get to keep hitting us. Um... hit it with all of that. Hmm. Um... I can't get to it. 
and we can't. What the hell am I stuck on? Game. Oh my god. No! Get in the seat! Okay. This thing is struggling. A lot. If we can actually hold on, if we can stay underneath it. While we're trying to repair. Then that would be the best option. Because it can't shoot down. Yeah, it can't shoot down. So if we stay like this, then that would be the best option. We're 90% still. We're still repairing. Mm. If only I'd brought something else in on this. No, it's got its guns online again! Or rather, we've g driven into a place where it can shoot them again. 91. Keep going, Scarabax! Keep going! Get under it! Get under it! What are you doing? Uh, minimum approach angle. Let's change that to like 30. So that it goes in and at a narrower angle. That's what we need. So now we'll go up round and then swing around and then go round again. That's what we want. There we go. He won't be able to get too easy shot on us now. It'll try to, but miss. Perfect. Then we just need to wait for repairs still. 93%. We can do this! We can do this! Yeah. In, um... In Bionicle, the Scarabax worked in large numbers. This thing is on its own and cannot work very well. Man, if only we'd kept that gun online a little longer, also our material is draining quick. Because of those steam engines. Keep going, keep going, why are you so slow? Keep going! I don't understand why it keeps going so slowly. Uh, 95%. Come on, we just need this barrel to be correct. We just need this piece repaired. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes! Okay, now we set it back to how it was. In fact, we could try and go further distance to get... Um... Yes, 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 yes. We could try and go further distance so that it has a harder time hitting us. That would actually make a lot of sense for these things to be further ranged. Okay, it isn't quite set up yet, because it's not all connected, but it's now firing again, but it's also firing at us. Ah, it can't hit us too well. Good. Come on, we can do this, we can do this! Ah, oh, that's majestic. That is awesome. It's trying desperately to keep range. And it's also going down. We just need to hit it more. We're hitting behind it a lot. But then that's flak for you. Oh, if it's going down, we might be able to capture it. The only problem is we need to make sure that it doesn't hit us. still turn is the problem. If 
maybe it won't be able to turn as easily once it's in the water. Actually, oh no, it's too damaged. Oh well. I was going to say, once it's in the water, the guns will be underwater and it won't be able to turn as easily. But we won! We actually won! The Scarabax 1v1 the Marlin! Don't know if this is good or not. <laughs> Listening. Moving out. We didn't gain an awful lot from it, but it's fine. I'm pleased with that. I am very, very pleased with that. All we know is that if we had several of these things, that would have gone so much more easily and better and words. Um, but I think I'm going to end this episode here. That has taken me a decent amount of time. And we, uh... Oh, I've been recording for nearly an hour, okay. So, yes. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. That was an amazing fight versus the Marlin. Pretty long-winded. But I'm glad I got it all on camera. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like button down below. Let me know if you want to see more from the depths. Tips, tricks, let me know how the hell I do lasers, how I can build better, like, um, Hydra and all that. Comment if you wish. Subscribe if you have not already. Check out my Discord link in description. And I will see you all in the next one. Hold on, there we go. Talk to you all then.